Hi guys, welcome back. I just wanted to give you some tips on how I take care of my skin and hopefully you could pick up on some good things for yourself. So I just wanted you to know that first I do wash my face with the Mario Badusco um, cleanser and also his moisturizer as well as his toner. And after this, um, I did open up my pores by using a steamer and I am careful not to get to get too close to this to the steamer um, So I am going to show you guys how I thread my face. I Bought this item on Amazon and it's called vanity and it comes in a whole packet uh, I'm not sure how many there comes in the box, but there's plenty and I ordered this like I don't know how long ago but I still have some, probably over a year, and it's ridiculous the amount of thread that I have left. So if you guys saw, um, I did pull out the string, and now I'm knotting it, and I'm looping it into the hole and making sure there's a little knot. And then I just twist the thread until I feel like it has a good grip to, um, pull all the hair follicles out and I do prefer this over waxing because I've just been doing it for so long and it doesn't pull on my skin as much as waxing would. I do do my whole face. I have a lot of um, peach fuzz and I like to focus on my upper lip, my sides, my eyebrows, and a little bit on my chin. As you can see um, it does take a lot of practice I know before I started threading it took me a long time to even get the maneuver of it down and I was practicing on my legs believe it or not so I do like to do the whole mouth to side thing in order to get a good grip on the hair follicles and excuse my breakouts, I let my puppy sleep on my face and I have super sensitive skin, which is why I do use the Mario um, Badusco um, cleansing items. It's just a lot easier for my skin. I'm not sure if it works for anybody else who's watching this. If it does, please comment below or if it doesn't, please comment below. I want to hear your input on that. And I usually thread, I want to say, every other week. And if I do see hair here and there, then I do pull it out as soon as possible. But when it comes to shaping them, then I leave it for the professionals because I know that I'm not confident and ready to be shaping my own eyebrows. And as you can see, I still, I still have makeup inside my eye. That's great. And now I'm using the facial toner. 
um, the witch the witch hazel. I can't even say it. And I'm cleaning off all the top layer of my skin. And the to the toner is also supposed to be helping with your pores and closing them as well. Usually when I'm done with my threading, I do like to put ice all over my face um, just because my skin gets so red. Now here is a razor packet that I just bought for my peach fuzz. Now I usually use this just to get the really, really, really tiny hairs that I can get without um, my threading tools. Now the reason why I use these type of um, razors, I believe it's called a twinkle razor, twinkle razor, um, is again because it helps remove the small peach fuzz on my hair that I can't get, on my face that I can't get with thread. And before I would, would have gotten freaked out with the idea because I always think that we're going to get that shadow that men um, usually get after shaving but if it's the peach fuzz and it's super light hairs and it usually should grow out just as light at least for myself and I'm not worried about it but I do not use this on the area where I do get dark hairs because if I use that then of course it's going to create that that dark shadow um, over my my skin And again, I know I mentioned this before, um, after you're done with all the threading and all the removal of, of hair, um, I do recommend using ice. I used to use aloe vera to help cool my skin, but I noticed that the ice works a lot better for myself, so I just stick to using ice. And I just rub it around. So see how I'm trying to avoid the sides. And I'm so amazed at how much peach fuzz I have, but it is what it is. Um, at least from where I come from, I know we have, a, us ladies have a lot of hair. <laughs> now I'm getting ready to do a peel off mask um, by Freeman. This is the marble type for pore cleansing and it's specifically for all skin types. Um, my skin is usually a combination. Um, there's times where it's oily. I know in the winter it gets super dry and I have to focus more on, on moisturizing it than anything. But definitely right now um, when the heat uh, gets crazy, I am definitely oily. Here I'm being very careful not to trap my hair into this because it's super sticky so I'm just trying my best to avoid my eyebrows and my hair and just get it everywhere else. And there goes my little hairs getting in the way of course. But it's all good because I got this. So while I had my mask on, I did put on some Acrylics from KISS. KISS seems to be the best brand for me to use, especially when I do not want to paint my nails. And here comes the magic. This is my favorite part. I love pulling that off. It feels so good. It's so satisfying just to pull it off. And I'm so happy I did not put it on my eyebrows because that would not be good. If anything, I would probably just put warm water on it to take it off, but still, it's a hassle.
and this is the aftermath i am oily i put on some vitamin c oil um, to moisturize my skin after doing the peel um, but that is usually this is usually my routine what i do um, once a week i try to do my mask i try to do my threading thank you guys for sticking around and i appreciate you guys don't forget to subscribe video edited by maryland h 12 years old